Okay, uh, what we have planned and we've been working on his hip for the past several months. Uh, we tried a couple, couple rounds of uh, laser guided mesenchymal stem cells. Um, first one didn't really take and then we did a high dose about a month ago and you report about how many percent improvement after the second dose? 15%. 15 percent. But yeah. I'll, it's good, but he could never really get the range of motion and strength is in his uh, hip flexor. So could you demonstrate before? Okay, now what was it like before? Our good hip. Before was here. Right there, before he walked in. And then what I did was I did this procedure and I'll explain why. We're gonna go in my room and take a look at his x-ray. And what I'm doing is mobilizing his hip. With this belt. All right. Based on uh, Brian Mulligan, a physiotherapist from New Zealand. And what I did was I blocked his hip like that. And I went up on about a 45 degree angle up like this to mobilize the anterior lateral hip joint. He does have good cartilage space on the anterior medial side and anterior side, but anterior, superior lateral, um, looks like it's bone on bone on x-ray. So this is decompressing or mobilizing that part of the hip. And that's where he has his pain. It's always on the outside of the hip, right? Always on the outside, yeah. Okay, and it, it gets worse the more you put weight on, like walking. Exactly. And how, how would that pain get on a scale of one to 10? It can elevate to a 10, okay. but most of the time during the day, it's a six to eight. So before we tried this angle, it didn't really work because it's, you know, the bone is kind of where the head is pressing against the acetabulum is, it is more sup lateral superior. That's where, um, applying that angle and you even felt it like that was that's the right spot right so is this is the angle so i did about 10 reps of this and then after right and day there now now do the left first and do the right and that's so that's about all the way out how about the right now before i was struggling that's all you're like that 20 do. degrees yeah now it's like 90. i mean i and it's not hurting. It's not painful. When's the last time you were able to get four inch of motion like this? Well, without a strap, it was a very long time. Yeah. It just like there was no strap. It's like night or day now. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's how we do to get. Uh, it's, it's not just putting like stem cells or biologics in joints. It's actually getting the post rehabilitation, the mobilization, and then we're also going to uh, hit the hip with a thousand shock wave. For, Extracorporeal shock waves to break up some of the calcific magnetic therapy. Yep, and magnetic therapy. All to break up the uh, scar tissue and the uh, calcific adhesions. And, and I'm going to show you his x ray. Follow me here so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. Go this way. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to show you his x ray. So if you look at uh, Glenn's x ray, so right here, he has good space medially, sup but superior ladder right there. That's where he gets that pain right there walking. And that's, and I decompressed that at pretty much this angle to open that up. And now he has full range of motion. So he has good space on the left. That's why he's able to flex his hip 90 degrees. Now I can flex the right 90 degrees. I I'm even pressed. So. Again, it's not a, not just about getting the cells in, it's the post-rehabilitation that's uh, just as important or more. I'm going to go ahead and do a shock wave. We're going to put the shock wave right uh, superior lateral, try to break up some of that calcific uh, adhesions. He does have um, a peculiar femoral neck and head shape. It's probably genetic. It's more square than, you know, instead of a, a, a neck and a round head. This is also longer. So there is some genetic structural components causing this, which, let, yeah, I, I just think it's not just about getting more cells in. It's, he needs a structural immobilization for a structural default. And we got the results. Thanks for watching.